welcome back students to one more session of your physical chemistry chapter so last uh, chapter we have done one organic chapter after that i gradually uh, going to start with a uh, physical chemistry chapter that is your chemical kinetics so basically let us first write the heading for chemical kinetics So when I speak about this particular chapter, chemical kinetics, you will be studying only the chemical aspects of this kinetics chapter. You also have it in physics. So this, uh, according to last year blueprint, this chapter is you will be getting it for five marks, right? So in this five marks, it is again bifurcated into two marks as well as three marks, right? So in this two marks, you'll be having two types. Of, you, you very well know you have very short answers, short answer type one, short answer type two, right? So your two marks will come under the category of short answer type two, and this comes under short answer type three, right? So this may be again subdivided. The you you may be given either one numerical in this, or it may be subdivided into one, two. and three questions so remember this according to this i'll be dealing with this chapter so let us see the index of this chapter what what do we have in this chapter and that is prescribed for your syllabus so in chemical kinetics we are going to study about or we are going to see first the basic definitions because the basic definitions you may get it in two under two marks we never know and your numerical compulsory numerical you will be getting in three marks so for this two marks you may be asked or you should know the definitions of so let us write the heading definitions so in the definitions you will be asked to write what is the meaning or the define uh, definition of rate of a reaction Yes, fine. After learning rate of reaction, you will also have to immediately practice the units, and you also have to practice the graphical representation. So remember, this all three together makes your rate of a reaction graphical representation. After this, you will be studying about rate constants. Yes. Right, you will be studying what is uh, the definition of rate constant, and after rate constant, you will be learning something about order of a reaction. Next, molecularity of a reaction. In again, this definition part includes order, molecularity, the basic definitions. You will be also asked what is the meaning of elementary reactions. meaning of complex reactions right now in this uh, particular after uh, learning the elementary and complex reaction a reaction a part of the rate of reaction you also may be asked the meaning of or the definition of average rate of a reaction and instantaneous rate of the reaction how much is that rate at that particular instant at that particular time given to you so average rate of a reaction and instant Tenuous reaction, right? So this is basic, simple numerical which we are going to do. And apart from this, now I think, yeah, elementary complex. Yeah, all these definitions are done. Now, apart from the definitions, you also have laws. Under that, you are going to study zero order rate law or integrated equation. you will also have for your syllabus first order integrated equation pseudo first order pseudo first order rate law right so all the three rate laws are important for you in this chapter whenever you are studying an integrated equation for this rate laws you also are supposed to study immediately units for all the three apart from studying the units you should also get acquainted with the graphical representation this is where most of the students leave graphical representation of all the three is important right so all the three graphical representations are important because they may ask you either to derive the rate law or they may ask you to give the units or they may give ask you to they may give you a graph and ask you to identify whether it is zero order first order or pseudo first order yes you have you don't have second order derivation but you have numericals based on numericals based on second order based on second order kinetics 
so you have this derivation also so now these are your laws or integrative equation apart from this you also have a concept called very important concept factors affecting rate of a reaction factors affecting reaction rates okay so what uh, what is important factor which we are going to consider temperature isn't it as we increase the temperature the rate of the reaction also increases so the factor important factor or the topic which we are going to discuss is temperature we will also discuss about pressure yes apart from this factors uh, influencing rate of a reaction we are also going to study an equation called Arrhenius equation Arrhenius equation done so this is all one part and now there is one more topic called collision theory of reaction rates collision collision theory where we will be studying about a concept called EA activation energy barrier and there are activation energy where you are going to do numericals based on this you also have numericals based on activation energy yes now <laughs> collision theory and you also going to learn about collision frequency collision frequency yes now this is your chapter every topic we will do i'll this time try to do uh, how uh, the topic based on the question what i'll do is i'll pick up a question we'll try to solve the question related to that and also i'll also show you how to do that and obviously after doing all this we'll be doing board papers So let us see one more uh, question on rate of the reaction. So basically what is rate of the reaction as we have learned rate of the reaction is equal to change in concentration of the reactant per unit time. If this is minus for the reactant. Now again the same if I write for the product plus will increase in concentration of the product divided per unit time correct now they've given me this particular reaction this is one way one more one more way of questioning you rate of the reaction so let us write so when such reaction is given to you nothing to do we very well know all these are reactants and all these are products right so wherever the you find how many of our products you find try to put per plus and how many of our reactants you're going to find try to put minus now for this i have to write just equation so rate reaction is equal to because you're starting with the reactants start with minus yes now <coughs> this is the we have uh, coefficient of this so this becomes 1 by 5 <coughs> concentration of br minus divided by delta t now equal equal to now are there any coefficients here not there so minus of here also you have to write uh, change yes here we are o3 minus put it in the square brackets with respect to time done there's one more reactant here which is equal to 1 by 6 concentration of the proton divided by respect to time this is uh, done for your now i have to write minus also this is done for your reactant now equate this whole thing with your products now products you have one by three correct so the addition of the of product divided in respect to time now what should you write for the product because products are increasing red plus which is again equated to plus one by three concentration of water divided by time this is how you are going to represent just try to put the concentrate coefficients here as a fraction just equate oh, everything nothing to add please don't write add this rate of change of concentration with respect to time equal to this one this one equal to this